Oh, what? There we go. Hello everybody, welcome back to some more Mario Party 1. We're gonna be doing the solo minigames in this game. One player minigames, so yeah, let's get it on. We're starting with Memory Match. We're playing as the princess in this one, so there we go. We got 10 one player minigames to get through, so let's do it. When you hip drop on the panels, a picture will appear. Remember where the pictures appear and try to match them up. So, we're just trying to match up the pictures. And whatever you get at the end of the game, you keep. So, hip drop, ground pound on the panels. If you land on a Bowser panel, your head spins and you can't move for a few seconds. Oh well. We're not gonna find the Bowser panel at least once. We're not gonna find one. We're just gonna get every one of them without finding the Bowser panel. So, red mushroom, red mushroom up here. Nope, that's a green mushroom, so I will have one. Hey, green mushroom, how are you? So, one up. Okay, how about you? Shell, and... Of course, right in the middle. Oh, shell. Wow. Okay, mushroom, uh, yep. And the final two are flowers, fire flowers. There we go. Wow. Well, I said at least once, so the game assumed that I was talking about finding it at least once, so I guess that was my fault. But yeah. Okay, yeah, you never really know where the Bowser panel is, so it's yeah, it's random matching game. Okay, shell game is number two, a bit of a luck-based minigame. But not really, because you can follow where the Koopa goes. The Koopa Troopers hide their chest. Find the Koopa Trooper that hides the treasure. Attack, jump, and you can hip drop. Watch carefully to see which Koopa Trooper has the treasure chest filled with coins. Yep. You can easily tell where it goes. That one. I'm not gonna blink either, so. If you blink, you might miss it. I'm not even losing it. There we go. Oh, what? It is up here. Uh. Miss. Oh no. Apparently, running into the cell counts as hitting it. Much like Mario Party 6 Fair Squares Hat minigame, that's basically the same thing. You just watch where the stars are or the coins. I'm watching carefully. I'm not even blinking. And there we go. So, can you tell which one it is? You're wrong. <laughs> it's this one. Finish. If you guessed that one, good job, but I know you cheated, so... Yes. <laughs> oh my god, what's wrong with your eyes? One black, one white. She's half, she's half ghost! <laughs> wow. That caught me off good. The right one was obviously the bottom left. And I was going up and then I was gonna go around and hit it, but no, apparently Peach ran into the other cell over there and lost it. Wow. Okay, pedal power, here we go. The rotating the stick minigame. Oh boy. It's been a little while since my 1 vs 3 minigame video. Also, I apologize for there being a bit of a delay between that and this one. I've been really busy during the holidays and yeah, quite a lot has happened. But yeah, yeah. This is not something that uh, the players really wanted back then, back in the old days, but Nintendo 
gave us stick spinning minigames, so a lot of you guys went with the palm. I used the fingers, because it's easier for me, so, yeah. Pedal power, light up the room before you get caught by boo. Rotate the to light up the bulb. Rotate the pedal. You can't defeat boo with a weak light. Rotate it, rotate the as much as you can. All right, here we go. I'll show it on video. Usually I have it down here. Oh, come on. Keep going. You're almost there. There you go, you sack of... Yeah. Alright, yeah. I do like using the original hardware for old games like this. I know it's on the Nintendo Switch Online, but... The Switch Online expansion pack here in Canada is a pretty hefty price. And yeah, that's a load of bullcrap. So, not to mention that there's also the option to buy a N64 type controller for the Switch, but those are sold out, so yeah. But yeah. And I'm not going to eBay to buy one there when people double or triple the price. I ain't paying that either, so. I like playing on original hardware, even though the quality may not be that great, but I will be investing in a scaler made by a company to make the picture at least clearer instead of looking like this. Like on this plasma right here, the Samsung plasma, Peach, I can barely even see her eyes. You might see the video a little clearer than, than me, I'm seeing a worse image than how the capture card is handling it, so, yeah. Alright, ground pound. Hip drop onto the flat top post. Try to remember which side flat and which side pointy before the butterflies land. Jump and hip drop. Watch carefully. Look beneath the butterflies and you'll see parts of the post. Yes, sir. Alright. Yeah, not too bad there. I'll... I'll... Start. I'll hit a soap post. So you can see her in agony from hitting it. Anybody will be in agony when hitting a salt point of a post. Like, what the hell, man? All right. You go really easy. There you go. One of the easiest minigames ever. All right. Okay. Last one for this five minigame set, and then we'll move on to the next five minigames right after that. Cause there's 10 total one player minigames other than, there's three extra one player minigames, but they're like a bonus type thing. So I'll save those for last. All right, Limbo Dance. Ooh. All right, do a Limbo Dance under all the Limbo sticks. Lean back and jump forward by pressing A. Lean back and move forward. Don't press A if it looks like you might fall down. Slowly let yourself stand up. Alrighty. You need to have a lot of core strength as well to do this. They'll fumble a little bit if you're about to fall down, but... Wow, I got the hard course. Wow, okay. Yeah. Pass for the flying colors. That was the hard course. A lot of red posts. Wow. But either way, we got it. Peach wins. Did I lose another one? Because if you get 10 minigame, or 5 minigame wins with 10 coins each, you should have 50. Although, yeah, I did lose cell game, so I lost 5 coins, so that makes sense. Blech. Okay, Ghost Cast. Here we go. I saved Slot Machine for last because it gives you the most coins if you get a match. And I'll talk about that when we get there. But yeah. Find the leader of the booze. The leader is the first of all the booze to move. 
jump drop, hip hop drop, what what, I don't know. You can tell which boo moves first by watching their shadows. Alright. Okay. This game requires a lot of paying attention. Something a lot of drivers don't do. Okay. Are you it? You. I. I was going right for you, and then Peach just had a wide hook and hit the one next to it. That was your fault. Come on. That was your fault, all right? You did a wide hook. You hit the boo next to it. I was going right for it a little bit, then no, you just, oh my god. This girl doesn't know how to punch. <laughs> okay. Rock a plant. Jump on the piranha plants that come out of the pipes and knock them back down. Get coins for each one you jump on. Move and jump. You can reach the farthest flowers with a long jump. Hold down A to do a long jump. Okay. Yep. The max you can get is 36. <laughs> Interesting number, but yeah. <laughs> but get it! Oh, ho, 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 ho. Alright. Those panels on the... Oh my god. I'm not getting all of these. Dang it. I thought I'd jump on that jumped on that pop one, but nope, apparently not. There we go. Bam, 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 bam. Finish. 35. Yeah. Well, that's a good number to end that minigame on, but yeah, that one stinking piranha plant got away from me. It is easy to get all of them though, and I do have it on video, I think, I'm not sure. I can't remember if I deleted it or not. If I do have it, then I'll show you getting all 36. And you can get all the piranha plants if you are able to do so, which I'm gonna try. There are a total of 36 coins. I got that. This is easy right here. And those moving blocks in the background are basically there to help you Oh yeah, there we go. All of them done. And that jingle right there is my favorite jingle in this game. I love listening to that. Okay, here we go. Teetering Towers. Let's do this. Okay, this is a bit of a tricky minigame. Jump across the tops of Teetering Towers. Depending on where you land, the towers tilt in a different direction. Once the tower teeters over, jump with all you got. Then you can make it to the next tower. Alright, there's also a money bag and two coins that you can get as well for a total of 17 coins. Alright. I'm not sure if we'll be able to get all of them, but we'll try. First coin over here, then go this way. Okay. Oh yeah, we'll definitely not be able to make it. Even if I, oh, uh, no, it doesn't go to the side. It goes either left or right, diagonally forward, so. So, unfortunately, we're not able to get all of them there, but, oh, well. The patterns are random for wherever the coins appear, so sometimes you can get all 17, and sometimes you will get only two of the three coin placements, so. Oh well. Alright, knock, knock block tower. 
Knock block tower. Knock block tower. Okay. A stack of wood blocks the what? A stack of wood blocks come crashing down. Break the boxes to get to the treasure chest at the top. Move and jack and what? <laughs> Jump and attack. Don't mistakenly attack the blue thwomps instead. You'll get knocked away and to your death. Okay, sounds good. I will try not to hit the blue thwomp, even though Sir. it's very tempting to do so. Ho! Ho! Ah! Ho! Oh, ah! Okay, there we go. I could have shown what it looks like when the princess hits the thwomp and then goes down below the clouds, but I'm not that mean of a guy. Come on. <laughs> Even though I want to. Well, she kind of deserves it after being kidnapped by Bowser so many times, so yeah. Alright, slot machine. Jump to hit the block and try to match the pictures shown. If you get three of the same picture, you will win coins. Move and jump. If you matched up the hat mark or the treasure chest mark, you win lots of coins. Pay attention to that because those will give you more than the other stuff. Alright, mushrooms, I believe, will only give you... I think mushrooms give you six coins, but... Alright. There we go. Ah, yeah. First try. <laughs> Take that. Finish. Yeah. And I love that little jingle that plays every time you get something good. The hat mark gives you 20 coins. Oh, alright. Okay, let's get the hat. Oh god. Okay, hot mark, hot mark, hot mark. Here we go, here we go, here we go. And here's what happens with Miss. Nobody wins! Draw. Draw. And that's what happens when you lose. It gets a draw. The treasure chest will give you 10. The mushroom will give you 6. Money bag, 5. Coin, 1. And I think there's a cell which will only give you 3. If I recall. And yeah. Um, there's also a fire flower too, right? So I think that's... Two? No. Coin one, cell two, fire flower three, and then money bag five, mushroom six, treasure chest ten, and hat mark twenty. I believe that's it. So yeah, there we go. That's all the ten player mini games. I mean, what? Ten one player mini games. <laughs> and yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it. Comment down below which is your favorite one player minigame and I will see you next time for when we go to uh which is it I played two versus two one versus three and solo I guess we'll go to four player next so yeah later